On Saturday, the front runners in Kenya's presidential race were scheduled to make one last pitch for support and in months of frantic campaigning in had the election on August 9. William Rocho, the deputy president, and Raila Odinga, a long-time opponent who is now supported by the ruling party, are competing to reach the government's top post. The president of the East African powerhouse state as he struggled with the cost of living crisis. They said this was a constitutional moment. We told them no, this is an economic moment. They told us it is about changing the constitution. We told them no, it is about changing the economy. For the sake of Kenya, I will shake the hand of my rivals and pay the political price if I have to. I will shake the hand if I win, and I will shake the hand if I don't. Kenyans hope this election will open a new chapter in Kenya's history, with neither candidates belonging to dominant Kikoyo tribe, which has produced three of the country's four presidents. The reason as to why we are here, as first, is to celebrate of our hero. Raila is our hero. Raila has been fighting for us. Raila has been there for us. And he is the only salvation that today we have in, the, in Kenya. Trust in Raila Omolo Odinga. He is our father of this nation, of this country. We know that when he, he will become the fifth president, freedom is back in Kenya. And that is what we are waiting just Baba to be our the fifth president. With large ethnic voting blocs, Kenya has long suffered politically motivated communal violence around election time. Notably after 2007 poll, when more than 1,100 people died, the run-up to this year's poll has been largely calm, with the police planning to deploy 100,000 officers on elections day to ensure security and the international community calling for a peaceful vote.